Yeah, 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 Talib Kweli, BKMC, CEO of Blacksmith, it's the movement, Hot97.com, check it out, right now. Yes, Hot 97, where hip-hop lives. My name is Peter Rosenberg, tonight in the Meatpacking District, pause, hanging out with my man, Talib Kweli. What up, what up, Yo. what up, what up? Yo, are you, you are, you're DJing tonight? Yeah, man, I'm DJ, man. I'm I'm all around b-boy. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, I don't I don't write that good, but I got a little bit of DJ skills, and and I got, you know, I got to get a little Serato crash course. But once I, I get that popping, I'll be ready to go. Okay. First and foremost, uh, we blasted off last week with some of your new joints off of Eardrum. Um, there was talk about the record being moved. Tell us about Eardrum. Who's doing tracks on it? When it's coming out? All that good stuff. Yeah, Eardrum is definitely coming out July 24th. You know what I'm saying? Uh, if we get all the samples cleared, it's definitely coming out July 24th. And uh, you know, Eardrum is featuring such talented people as Gene Gray, um, UGK, Kanye West, Music Soul Child, Nora Jones, you know what I'm saying? Um, Nora Jones, huh? Nora Jones, yeah. How's her, how's her joint? It's good, it's Nora Jones and Mad Lib, you know, so that's that's how I'm coming wow. with Nora Jones and Mad Lib. You, know? you have managed uh, to, to stick around in this game for a minute, and you haven't sold a ton of records. Uh, you have a lot of a lot of love and from a lot of different kinds of people yeah. um but that said there are a lot of artists out there who have come out and sold big records before and not been able to consistently do the records they want right. somehow you've managed to just stick around and continue to put out the music that's in your lane right. what's been the secret to being able to do that um you know it's just a myth you know what i'm saying like people believe the myths of the game they they, they see these images on tv and they see the um the representation of materialism and they automatically think that means success and they don't understand that success is, is truly longevity and um you know the way I, the way that I, I, I approach the game has always been from a longevity standpoint you know I know that at, at the end of the day I gotta come back to myself um, and you know I try different things I try to experiment I, I don't I, I definitely don't stick with one style I think that's foolish you know what I'm saying but um you know, I, I try to experiment, but sometimes I get it right, sometimes I get it wrong. But as long as it's honest and it's from the heart, I think honesty is what really sells music. Yeah, I think it's like, it's all about that Wu Tang. I'm not we're not trying to just hop in, hop right out real quick. You know, you got you got to you got to stick around. You know, to make to make things work. Um, what did it mean to you when um when Jay Z said on the record on on the Black album, truthfully, I probably rhyme like uh, I'd love to rhyme like Talib Kweli, whatever the line was. What did that What did that mean to you? I mean, he's the king. Right, I mean, yeah, you know, I'm from Brooklyn and I MC, so you know, Jay Z, you know, that's that's what it is. I mean, it's, it was a great thing for me, and, and it let me know that I was on the right path, that I would cross his mind at that moment when he was writing that particular song. You know, he represent Brooklyn, he represent hip hop, you know, very formidably, and you know, he's outstanding the way that he handles his business and handles his art, and um, uh, you know, I, he gets all the respect in the world for me. And if I see him, I, I say, what's up. I holla at him, you know what I'm saying? He got on the Get By remix. I hollered at him. I hit him on the two way. We had two ways back then, you know what I'm saying? And I was like, get time on. port. Yeah, I was like, yeah, the time port. I was like, get on the remix. He was like, cool. You know, a couple months later, he sent it to me. Done, you know, like, that's how it is. I hope that happens to me one day. How do you feel about being, I have to say this, this is not mocking you, but I do say this often. A lot of times I meet white girls who love hip hop. They come up to shows, they say, I love hip hop. And when I say, who's your favorite artist? And I'm talking about this at a good hip hop show. Let's say you're at a KRS show, whatever kind of show. Nine times out of ten, they say Talib Kweli, Most Def, or Black Star. How do you feel? Do you have any sort of feelings about being the favorite rapper of sort of like every white girl who's just gotten into hip hop when they got to college? Um, I mean, you know, I think with the college thing, Black Star, that album was like a crash course in hip hop and good hip hop for a lot of people who may not have been involved in it. You know, that that album was truly from our hearts, and um, it was a, it was truly a testament to hip hop. So it's flattering that people who have not been down with hip hop, that's the introduction. They're like, oh wow, that that's what turns them on to it. You know what I'm saying? Like, it, it ain't come from that community, but it goes to show you how powerful music is. You know what I'm saying? Like, and how universal it is. Who is the illest, most randomest person who came up to you and told them, told you they were a fan, and you were just like blown away? <laughs> um, who? What's the dude who um, who's on Saved by the Bell? You mean Mr. Belding? Mr. Belding, yeah, that's his name. Mr. Belding, yeah. Principal Belding? Principal Belding and and what's the guy's name? Ben Foles. I did a show with Principal Belding and Ben Foles like a month ago. Big ups to Principal Belding. Uh, how are you in a? Are you in most in different places right now? I mean, from everything I can gauge, 
Um, I don't know most at all. Uh, I don't know you at all except for as the last uh, 15 minutes. Yeah, uh, I've, I've met you a few times at shows. Actually, one of my first, the most exciting things that ever happened to me in radio. Actually, last week, my show was the first, most exciting. Being on 97 was the most exciting. That's a good look, man. That's a good um, it's, 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 my, it's my dream come true. But before that, you guys came when Black Star came out. You came into Tigger's show on a Friday night, and I got to drop. Tigger let me drop the instrumentals. I was his intern, and y'all rocked over Nas's like, and it was like the the absolute pinnacle of my life at the time. But since then, I haven't gotten to see you guys at all. I I, I know Moses is doing the acting thing. He's doing a lot of different things. A, are you guys tight? Uh, are you guys in similar places in life? Are you what, what are things like with you and Moses? Um, yeah, that's that's the big homie. You know what I'm saying? Like that's one of my best friends in the world. And we make music together constantly. We haven't made another album in, in a minute, you know what I'm saying? But definitely, I mean, if, if we so inclined, we'll put another album out. But we know when we made the album, it was Most Def and Quali of Black Star because we wanted to establish separate entities from the beginning. But, you know, that's definitely one of my best friends. Really. Let me see how hipster you're dressed right now. <laughs> um, just the kicks look here. You're, you're not wearing anything that anything too schmedium, though, because cats hip hop these days getting real schmedium, small cuts. I mean, I, I could, I mean, I, I, I like to, I, I like to dress, I like, I like like my things to fit, you know what I'm saying? But you know, is hip hop has hip hop been? Has this been a dream come true for you? Could there have been? Is there a certain thing like a Grammy or getting into something else? I don't know what it could be that would make your story more of a fairy tale. Or has this been pretty much what you could have ever hoped for? I mean, uh, you know, the old saying is that success is a journey, not a destination. So you can always be more successful, and you always work harder to achieve more. Um, and that's just you know hustling. But I mean. Um, I, I live and I live my dream, and I do what I want for a living, and I can't ask for more than that. Yo, it's how I live. The, the eardrum will be out July 24th. July 24th, go get that Blacksmith Insta movement. Look out for Gene Gray and Strong on Steady as well.